When we do long division, we have to be careful of the missing terms when we set up the long division or synthetic division. So I'm going to look at f here. And in f, we have 4, power 4, power 2, power 0. So we're missing power 3. So when we set up the long division, we have to make sure that we have spacers for those unknown or those missing powers. So for the missing power of 3, I'm going to put 0y cubed, 3y squared. We're going to have 0y and then plus 1. And then we can do the synthetic division, So, or sorry, the long division. So we have 3y, 2y cubed. That gives us 2y to the power of 4 minus 3y cubed. So subtracting these, we end up with 3y cubed. Bring down that term, so we have 3y squared. So this becomes plus 3y squared. So 3y cubed minus, now this becomes 3 times negative 3, so negative 9y squared. We get positive 6y squared. Bring down that other term, we get plus 0y. So this becomes plus 6y. So we end up with 6y squared plus, sorry, minus 18y. Subtract, we get 18y. And then bring down that 1 from here. So this becomes plus 1. So the last one is 18. And we end up with 18y minus 18 times 3 works out to be 18 times 3 is 54, so we end up with a remainder of positive 55. Okay, and then as a division statement, it would look like this. 2y4 minus 3y squared plus 1 is equal to the divisor times the quotient. So I'm going to write that as d. This is q y cubed plus 3y squared plus 6y plus 18 and then plus the remainder which is 55. Plus 55 and that's my remainder. I'm just going to move that out here. Okay, so there's my division statement in its multiplication form.